Welcome to Miss Walker's Story Hour. Today we are going to begin a new chapter book. It is called Adventures at Hound Hotel. And the one we're starting from this series is called Cool Crosby. Now, Miss Walker is reading it as an ebook, meaning it's online. And you guys can access this whole series online in our own library. So if you go to Destiny, if you go up here to where you have your Blunt K-12 bookmarks on your screen and put the drop down menu, you can go to Destiny Library. Let me do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give another screen so it doesn't mess up my book. You can go to Destiny Library, click on our library, and type in the title, and it'll pull it up. See, so watch. Um, cool Crosby. And it pops up, and if you want to read the ebook, you just click open. Now, for more in this series, you would just put Adventures in Hound Hotel. And if since I'm going to change the type just so that it makes my list shorter to an ebook. And I can search for it, and it's going to pull up all of them that we have in that series. And you can just click open, and it will open that book for you, and you can start reading. Just be sure you write down what page you're at, so when you go back to it, you'll know what you're at. So, back to our book. We are going to be reading Adventures at Hound Hotel, Cool Cos Crosby. Chapter 1, The World's Most Annoying Brother. I'm Alfie Wolf. There's one thing I hate. When my twin sister, Alfreda, acts like an alpha kid around our place. Alpha means first or top. She's always wiggling her finger in my face and telling me what to do. So annoying. But this story isn't about the most annoying sister in the world. Well, not totally. It's about the most annoying brother. See? There's this German Shepherd I know. His name is Crosby. He stayed at the Hound Hotel before, and he is the coolest dog ever. Crosby's super strong and friendly and can jump real high. He loves to leap over stuff and race around the play yard. The problem is, he's got a little brother, a puppy named Bruno. Bruno is a brat with a capital B. Trust me. Both he and my sister are alphas in the annoying department. Sometimes Alfreda makes me so mad that my head almost explodes. That's when I start to yell and kick stuff. That's when I'm in the doghouse. That means I'm in trouble with mom and dad. Back to Crosby. I never felt sorrier for a dog. He has to put up with Bruno every single day. It all started early one morning back in June. I groaned and hit the button on my dog clock to keep make it stop barking. Suddenly, my sister marched into my room without even knocking. I hate when she does that. Get up, sleepyhead, she ordered me in her top boss voice. Get out of my room, I said, rolling over against the wall. Against the poster hanging on the wall, to be exact. Against the poster my dad had given me, to be exactor. A poster of a gray wolf, to be the exactest. I stared at the powerful looking wolf and sighed. Man, I wish I could act more like an alpha wolf, the leader of the pack around my sister. But that role was all hers. Between me and her, she always came out stronger, smarter, braver, and faster in every area. It wasn't fair. Now, Alpharetta marched over and whipped off my blanket. Two more dogs just checked in. She said, the hotel's full with dad up north at the Wolf Center. Mom needs our help. She said, we're supposed to speed through our chores. Then we're supposed to play with the dogs so they're not bored. I called dibs on Crosby. Huh? I sat up super fast. Crosby, the German shepherd, I asked, the one who was here last month. Alfreda grinned. Yep, he's back, and I get to play with him today. It's my turn. You hogged him the last time. You can play with the beagles who checked in yesterday, or the terriers, or the labs. No, I leaped out of bed. I called Crosby. Alfreda laughed. Sorry, bro. I'm already dressed, ate breakfast, and now I'm going to do my chores. Mom says whoever gets chores done first can play with Crosby, and Crosby, and Bruno, that is. Bru Bruno who? 
Bruno, she said, Crosby's little new brother, a German shepherd puppy. He's so cute. He and Crosby are staying in the same pen just for tonight. I get to play with them both because I'll speed through my chores, unlike you, Slowpoke. She grinned again and ducked out of my room. I ran after her and tripped over a big stuffed wolf Dad had given me. I get Crosby, I cried. I'll make a great obstacle for him, just like last time. Too late, sleepyhead, Alpharetta called from downstairs. I've got all kinds of stuff planned for Crosby. You, I yelled, no way. Our back door slammed. I quickly yanked off my pajamas and threw on the jeans at the Hound Hotel t-shirt. Then I ran downstairs, gobbled my breakfast in record time. I raced down our long driveway to the Keldom Kettle. Let me start that sentence again. I raced down our long driveway to the kennel building. I had just spent all day playing with Crosby. I had to spend all day playing with Crosby and his little brother. Crosby was the coolest dog around. Yes, sir. I'd build the best obstacle course Crosby had ever seen. I'd make his stay at the Hound Hotel the most fun ever. The best country vacation he'd ever had. But first, I had to do my kennel chores. If I was going to beat my sister, I had to save a bunch of time in the chores department. All right. So, you're enjoying our story so far? Thank you, Kylie. Thumbs up there. Awesome. All right. So, I'm going to keep going. Chapter two. All right. Chapter two. Little Red Riding Hoey. I think that's the name of it. If I've got it right. All right. Yeah. <gasps> Fatima. Hey. Okay. Here we go. Chapter two. Little Red Riding Hooey. So, how could I finish my chores before my sister finished hers? Maybe fill the water dog's pails only half full. Maybe sweep a bit of the dog hair from the pens. Maybe Mom would notice. Ha, fat chance of that. Mom was famous for her spotless kennels. That was the big reason dog owners kept coming back to our hotel. But here was the another reason. Dogs have tons of fun at the Hound Hotel, thanks to us twins. We love to play with the dogs, so I had to build a super cool obstacle course for Crosby. I threw open the kennel's front door. Mom, I called. Can I play with Crosby first? He had way more fun with me. That's what more just as important as the chores, right? Hey, Mom, where are you? I ran through the office and down the hall towards the big room in the back of the building. That's where the pens are. Or you can call them kennels. Or you can call them runs if you want. Why runs? Because each space is big enough for the dog to run around inside it. Get it? I ran past the laundry room door just as mom stepped out. She carried a basket piled with clean, high folded laundry. Bam! I crashed right into her. Towels and blankets threw into the air. And fell on the floor, totally unfolding them. Oops. Alfie, you know you're not supposed to run in here, Mom said with a groan. Well, I'm not folding these again. That will be your job. Lay them neatly on the storeroom shelves when you're done. She shook her head and started to walk away. What? I cried on top of the other chores. I'll never get to play with Crosby at this rate. Ugh. I kicked the pile of clean towels and they flew back into the air and one landed on top of Mom's head. Oops. She pulled it off, turned around, and stared at me. Alfie, she said in her, I'm warning you, control your temper, understand? Yeah, sorry, I said, but it's not fair. Alfreda gets to play with the best dogs because she's super fast at chores and super good at getting up earlier than me, and I'll never be the alpha kid around here at anything. Oh, honey, Mom said, patting my shoulder. Sure you will. Honestly, the way you and your sister fight over being number one is completely silly. It's just hooey. Hooey, you are equal to your sister in many areas, even tops and others. Name one, Mom. At that moment, her cell phone barked. Our phones don't ring. They bark. Hold that thought, Alfie, she said. Excuse me. She answered the phone and started talking in her regular chill, cheerful voice, and she wandered into the office and shut the door. I sighed and flopped onto the floor. I got busy folding laundry. It took forever. 
I am not kidding. I finally got the piles put away in the storeroom. I ducked into the kennel room and looked around. Exactly half of the dog's drinking water pails were full of fresh water. Half of the pens looked swept. Half of the dog dishes were full of food. And of course, Alfreda had left half of the morning chores for me. Of course, she'd finished her share at Alpha's kid speed. Man, my sister bugged me. Alpharetta was kneeling in Crosby's pen, patting his noble-looking head. My heart felt a tug. I wanted to hang out with him so bad. When I noticed Bruno the puppy, he was chewing on Crosby tailed. He chewed and chewed on it like it was tasty and filled a treat-filled toy. The pup wouldn't stop. Crosby wagged his tail out of Bruno's bath a few times, but every time the pup jumped back and chewed it like crazy again. I doubt it hurt, but it had to really bug him. I bet Crosby wanted to snap his bratty, uh, snap at his bratty little brother. Only he couldn't because Alpharetta held her head in her hands. She spoke to him in her talking to baby's voice. I hate when people talk to dogs like they're toddlers. See, here's the thing. Every kind of the dog in the world came from wolves. Every dog's great, 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 and add a whole bunch more greats there. Grandparents were wolves. So why would you talk to a wolf and baby talk? If your answer is no, here's a high five. If your answer is yes, I feel super sorry for your dog. Now, Alpharetta rubbed her nose against Crosby's. Gross. Sister germs. The poor guy. You German shepherds look so much alike wolves, don't you? She said in her weird baby voice. Your bushy tails and pointy ears. She kissed him on the top of the head. More sister germs. Double gross. How could Crosby stand it? Well, guess what? She squeaked. Because you look so much like Mr. Wolf. We're going to go out and play. Yes, right here in your pen. We'll spend all morning right here playing theater. Won't that be fun? Crosby looked at the floor and he yawned. Exactly, she said. He doesn't want to stay inside. He wants to be in the play yard in the sun running around. Be quiet, Alfie, Alfreda said, rolling her eyes. This is none of your business. Do your chores and leave us alone. I groaned and started to fill water pails. Out of the corner of my eye, I peeked at Crosby's pen. Now Bruno was jumping on Crosby's tail over and over again, like he was trying to squash it flat. Crosby didn't even whimper. So, Crosby, Alfreda continued, want to know how... The title, you want to know the title of the play? She moved her head up and down, making him nod. Little Red Riding Hood, she said. I'll be Little Red and you'll be the wolf in the granny suit. Bruno can be a loaf of bread. He'll lie in the basket nice and still and I'll carry him through the woods to granny's house. Won't playing theater be a blast? No, it won't, I piped up. Crosby doesn't want to play some dumb Little Red Riding Hood hooey play. He doesn't want to come to the, he want, won't ever want to come back to the Hound Hotel. Yes, he will, Alfreda said. No, he won't, I argued. Now that's when I got the little brat. Now that he's got a little brat in his life, Crosby needs an extra great vacation. He needs to do action-y stuff, not quiet stuff. You're totally ruining his sleepover. I am not, my sister said. You are too, I said. My face got super hot. I wanted to kick something really hard. I tried to kick my sister, but instead I kicked over Crosby's full bucket of drinking water. Water splashed everywhere. Mom! Alfreda cried. Oops, I lost my temper again. And we are going to stop right there and we will begin chapter three in the doghouse tomorrow. So let me click on some buttons for my screen. How dare you?